I'm the director and founder of Yellow House, which is the space where the home exhibition is located. I'm an artist and have been since I was a kiddo, so I always knew I was going to pursue the arts. And more recently, as an adult, have become an activist focused on trying to build a better community. I'm actually from Jacksonville, so I'm one of those rare natives who has stayed. Most of my career has been spent in museums, so I worked and led um, in various ways for over 20 years the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens here in Jacksonville, Florida. Left there three or so years ago and wanting to do work a little closer to the ground, wanting to be in a space where we could be a little more nimble, say some things that couldn't really be said in a more formal institution. Um, and so that's really what brought about the creation of Yellow House, was a desire to create a space where artists whose stories are rarely told, to be able to tell them exactly the way they want to, and to be able to bring community together around the conversations that would be spurred by the art that was on the walls. organizer with the Florida Immigrant Coal Coalition, which is we are part of a We Are All America national campaign. 
I am not an artist, but I am um, an organizer and um, I am one of the co-curator for the art, the home exhibit, creating spaces where people could come together and learn about each other and, and connect. It's, it's the best thing. And this is where we, where we were able to accomplish through the home exhibit and hopefully uh, for a future, uh, future project. It doesn't need to be just art. It can be anything, but uh, that's what we were able to accomplish through the home exhibit, bringing the community and connect them. Home to me is family, um, safety, um, culture, smell, everything. When I became an immigrant or a refugee in the United States in 2010, I missed home and I felt like how we could educate people about where I came from because pretty much like everywhere I go because mm -hmm. of the way I look, uh, people ask me, so where is home? Where are you from? Why you are here? Um, but pretty much all what people know is I think all what they see when I say I'm from Iraq is war um, and different scene that it's pretty much not all these scenes represent where I am from. So pretty much uh, I always try to educate people that uh, Iraq and other countries in the Middle East have a really um, long, good history. And what's happening now uh, doesn't reflect who we are. For me, this exhibit is uh, a chance to experience sort of, well, especially like the tent uh, part where you walk into like the humanitarian aid tent, um, being able to experience the feeling of like confinement and just where people come from and that you don't know that they have this story and you feel like connected to them because you understand that they have a whole story behind coming to Jacksonville. Reading the artists' stories and then trying to engage their art on the terms that they've created it based on what they have been through and what they're trying to display with that art, that their sense of home is very different from my sense of home. It's one thing to like know these things are going on, but when you stand in a room like this and you you feel it, you know, and you stand amongst these people, and some have spent years living in a tent, barely hanging on to survival. You know, my power was out for a couple hours the other night, and we were all like, oh, this is horrible, right? What are we going to do? You know, they've lived without electricity for years. You know, we blew up their homes, and now our country is closing its door to them. You know, you see a little news piece and then you just go back to your life. Once, the, once you experience something like this, then it's in you. And you, you don't forget. You don't forget these people. We also have refugees that are coming on our southern border that are fleeing drought and hunger from climate change and violence, much, much violence that, you know, is a result of America's dirty wars in Central America and our policies were on drugs and different policies we've had down there that have harmed the people there and harmed their communities and governments. And the cruelty and the horror that these folks experience when they get to America, when they think they're coming to see Lady Liberty raising her lamp, and they're thrown into prisons and sent back. It is our responsibility as human beings, um, people who care, people who have hearts to help these people. We all live on one planet, we're on one little blue rock, flying through space at 17,000 miles an hour, just hanging on. And, you know, borders are not really real. This is just one planet. Let's all take care of each other. So, 
وسهلاً في بيتي um, and the way we say bye and مع السلامة <laughs> <laughs> so silly. I love it. Thank you.